Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be making a very interesting chemistry device called a storm glass. It's used to predict the weather based on differences in solubility that are caused by differences in temperature and pressure. So what I've got here on the left is 40 milliliters of ethanol, 200 proof ethanol, um, 33 milliliters of distilled water on the right, and the chemicals that I have are 2.5 grams of potassium nitrate that we made in a previous video, 2.5 grams of ammonium chloride that we made in a previous video, and 10 grams of natural camphor. These will be made into two different solutions. Uh, solution A on the left will be the ethanol and camphor, and solution B is everything else on the right. So all we need to do is dissolve everything in the appropriate solutions. The water solution should be fairly easy to make because both of the chemicals are very soluble in water. But the ethanol and camphor solution might be a bit harder. So what I'm going to do is use my magnetic stirrer slash hot plate that I got for Christmas. So we'll toss in a stir bar and uh, let that stir and let everything dissolve appropriately. You may have to heat it slightly as well to dissolve everything, so I'm going to do that and I'll put that on low heat. While that's stirring, I'll just mix up the other solution uh, manually. And once everything's dissolved, then we can combine both of the solutions together. All right, everything's been dissolved in both the solutions, uh, so now the next step is to just combine them. And I'm going to do that while the thing is still stirring, just to ensure that I get even mixing. And this is actually pretty interesting because you can see once the, the two are combined, it immediately forms a precipitate. And that's sort of the key to the workings of the storm glass. Uh, the idea is that solubility of chemicals changes based on factors such as temperature and pressure. So when those change, uh, it, it should change the precipitation that goes on in the storm glass. And it will form different patterns uh, based on what the approaching weather is supposed to be like. Uh, from what I've read, these are able to predict the weather about 24 to 48 hours in advance. And I've seen a number of different really interesting uh, precipitates happen, uh, like stars, or, st or it almost looks like snow in the glass. It's really, really neat. And also, when mixing these, you're likely going to need to heat the solution a bit just to get rid of all the precipitates. Uh, so really you want to have a clear solution so that when you pour it into your final container you, know, you don't want to leave behind any precipitates. So I'll just heat this up until the, the cloudiness goes away. Alright, now everything has been dissolved completely and the solution's cleared up. So I'll turn off the heat and the stirring. And then we'll pour it into this uh, jumbo test tube that I have here. And this will be the container for the storm glass. The final step of this is to seal the test tube uh, with, I'm going to use a stopper and some electrical tape, uh, but I don't want to do that until the thing has cooled down to room temperature because I've done this before and uh, if you seal it before it cools down it sets up a pressure differential and that's actually caused the test tube to crack. So I'm going to wait 
until it cools down to seal everything up. So I've let everything cool down to room temperature and sealed it up. Uh, you can see that I just have a the blue stopper is in there and I wrapped some duct tape around it to further seal everything and prevent it from popping off. Uh, I had a little bit extra too so I put it in that smaller test tube next to it. You can see that there's already some precipitates forming uh, and it's making the larger test tube look rather cloudy with a lot of really small dots uh, and the smaller ones actually behaving a little bit differently and you can see that that the, uh, the shape and size of the container actually makes a significant difference in uh, what this thing looks like. So that's actually pretty interesting. The smaller one looks like snowflakes almost. A lot of small stars. It's actually pretty beautiful. So here's another view of the difference between the two. Uh, so the best place to put this would be either outside or in a non-air conditioned room like a garage or a screen porch or something like that. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So I've left both my storm glasses out overnight and as you can see the majority of it has crystallized completely. I think that's mainly due to the temperature uh, as it's 40 degrees right now and uh, I'm sure it got quite a bit colder overnight and it, it seems to me that temperature has the largest effect on these things. I've seen this do uh, a number of much more interesting patterns in the crystallization uh, but I, I just haven't gotten any on tape yet so I hope to update this video uh, in the coming months 